Good morning. You guys look amazing, by the way. I enjoyed watching you all walk in. My name is Sarah Willocks, and I'm the Early Childhood Director here at St. Paul Lutheran Church and School. And on behalf of the teachers, staff, and students, we just want to welcome you and thank you for taking the time to come to our Christmas service entitled The ABCs of Christmas. We are so thankful that we're able to be here together to share this amazing Christmas message with you. But before we begin, I'd like to uh, call up Pastor Steve to lead us in a word of prayer. Thank you. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for this day, another day that you've made. We do rejoice and we are glad in it. We are glad this day because we get to hear the incredible message of how much you love us and how much you continue to pursue us in grace with the sending of your son, Jesus Christ. And so bless us this Christmas time. Bless these children. Help them to sing those incredible herald, those songs uh, in a great magnifying of your name, Jesus Christ, our Savior. In his name we pray. Amen. alphabet to share the Christmas story? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You're going to use the alphabet to tell the Christmas story? Yeah, you heard it right. The children have been busy preparing this day and learning all about the true meaning of Christmas. Are you sure you know the real meaning of Christmas? Well, yeah. why don't we find out for ourselves? Little children, can you tell? Do you know the story well? Every girl and every boy, why the angels sing for joy on this Christmas morning? Yes, we know the story well. Listen now and hear. letter of the alphabet. A. That's a. right. Let's begin with A. A is for angel. The angel made an announcement to Mary. Correct. Our second letter gives us a clue about that special announcement. What letter comes next? B is for baby. The angel told Mary that they were going to have a baby. Yes, but this wasn't any baby. This baby would be God's own son. Now, what's our next letter? 
the other account, Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem to be counted. You're right. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that everyone had to go back to the town they were born in to be counted. Since Joseph was from Bethlehem, he and Mary had to travel there. Now, moving right along, what letter comes after C? D is for donkey, Mary on donkey to Bethlehem. Excellent. Back then, there were no cars or planes or even trains, so Mary rode on a donkey and Joseph walked right by her side. Mary and Joseph were exhausted on their long journey. That's because they had so very go. Hey, there are next two letters. Exactly. Mary and Joseph were tired because they had to travel a long way. They were hungry and hoping they would get there soon to find a place to rest. Um, you just introduce our next letter. Yes, when they got to Bethlehem, they were hungry and tired. They were looking for a place to stay, but it was so crowded and all the rooms were full. Well, we can find out if we move to our next letter. What is it? I. I is for innkeeper. The innkeeper told Mary and Joseph to stay in a stable. You got it. Mary and Joseph stayed in the stable because there was no room in the inn. And do you know what happened that night? Our next letter will help. Do you know what it is? J for Jesus, not night in the stable in Bethlehem. Jesus, Jesus was born.
stick, but Jesus wasn't any ordinary baby. No, he's the king of the world. Hey, that starts with the next letter. You're correct. He is king of the world, and he has other names also. There's a clue in our next letter, but what is it? I know. That's for the Lord of Lords. That's right. But this king and lord was not born in any castle. The place where he laid his head starts with our next letter, which is? Yeah. M is for manger. Mary laid Jesus in a manger, because there was no room in the inn. Marvelous. Now, what's next? N is for news. Mary and Joseph wanted to share the good news, but the animals were the only ones around. Speaking of animals, our next letter stands for one of the animals that may have been there the night that Jesus was born. Do you know what letter it is? O. O is for ox. The ox gave up the hay and the manger for the newborn king. Yes, and Mary and Joseph were overjoyed. Do you know why? Our next letter gives us a clue. What is it? P is for promise. God kept his promise he would send the savior of the world, Prince of Peace. Oh, what a special night. It was a special night, but a little unusual 
Maybe our next letter would better explain. Can you tell me what letter comes next? Q. Q is for quiet. It was a quiet night. Can you believe it? Jesus Christ, the King of the world, the Lord of lords, the Prince of Peace was born. But there wasn't a party. No one was celebrating. All was quiet. So what did Mary and Joseph do? Well, let's check out our next letter. Do you know what it is? Oh. Oh. R is for us. Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus rested. Meanwhile, out in the field, something amazing was about to happen. What letter will help us now? S is for shepherds who were watching the sheep. An angel came to tell them that the Savior had been born. Oh my, the shepherds were the first to hear the good news. I wonder how they felt. Our next letter might help. What is it? T is for terrified. The angel's bright light made the shepherds tremble with fear. Yeah, just imagine being out in the dark, quiet field in the middle of the night when an angel appears. Then many angels appear to sing glory to God in the highest. Hey, that must have been unbelievable. Hey, that's our next letter. find out with our next letter. W is for worship. The shepherds left quickly to worship the newborn king. They certainly did. The shepherds found baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger, just as the angel had said. Do you know what they did next? What letter are we on now? X is for exclaim. Shepherds left to exclaim the good news and all they had seen and heard. Yes, the shepherds were so excited. They couldn't wait to go tell the others. We're almost done with our alphabet. What letter comes next? Why is the yell? The good news about Christmas is so exciting. We should yell it out. You're right. We don't want to keep this a secret. The good news is for all people, which brings us to our final letter in the alphabet. What letter's that? Z is for zeal. We should share the good news with zero excitement. I think that's a great idea. And what better way to share the good news than with a song?
over the last couple weeks, and the teachers and the assistants here have worked tirelessly to help prepare them for this special day. And they just were amazing, just stars.